Oh! What? Was that grandpa? That looked like grandpa. I mean, not my grandpa. <laughs> that looked like some grandpa. <laughs> Let's play Madison. Or rather, the demo. Hello and welcome. To Hula Noob playing short indie horror game demos. <laughs> This is a demo that's, uh, it's already a couple of years old, it's from 2017, but because um, the developer, uh, Madison Video Game, uh, wrote that the game will be available on Steam this year, I thought I'd check it out. Um, so, what would you do if you woke up locked in a dark room with your hands covered in blood? Play as Luca and endure the beauty brute torture of Madison, a demon that has forced him to continue a gory ritual started decades ago, making him commit abominable acts. Will you be able to finish this sinister ceremony? Probably not. I don't like abominable acts. I'm more like a, an adorable acts person. <laughs> but uh, let's start right in and then just see what will happen. This is an early development demo. The final release may differ after development process. Be aware you may experience bugs and unfinished features. Oh, I'm already right inside. Okay, wow. No introduction, just right in, right in. Will something come out in me? I feel like I'm back in The Last of Us. What's that? It's a key? Study. Oh, I read Stucky. Press tab. Uh, there. Oh wait, inspect item. Oh, I can even zoom. Yes. Okay. Okay. That's it, I think. Yeah. Wow, this looks really good. <laughs> I mean, I played some indie indie horror games in the cu last couple of weeks, so this really looks a lot more polished than what I usually have. What's that? Okay. A nice lady with her kid. Lovely porcelain. A marriage ceremony. Polaro Polaroids, okay. Point, shoot, print, and check. Wow, it even has a voiceover. What is this? I feel like a princess. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Wait. Um. Oh, I, because I still haven't used them. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. More vintage photos. So is this the study? Um, no, I guess if it works for the room, it would probably automatically open. Huh. Um, can I first look at this? Whoa. I can't. But I want to read this. Oh, there. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Maxwell, this is to notify you that your child, Luca Maxwell, is hereby expelled from Westlake Secondary School after several suspensions and he will no longer be welcomed in the institution. The situation is now dangerous for our students and us. What? We will not tolerate this kind of behavior here. Luca has experienced some sort of sudden change a few weeks ago and we cannot control him. He's not himself. He cannot be separated from that camera he, cam he carries around his neck. And the school psychologist has informed that he confessed the camera whispers things that only he can hear. There is nothing else we can do under these circumstances, namely disturbing drawings, self-inflicted wounds made with school supplies, punching and kicking, swearing, and even biting his classmates. That's a case for the Federal Bureau of Control. <laughs> we want to let you know it's an altered item, the camera. We want to let you know that the family of the boy who was stabbed went to the police station this morning. He was stabbed? You didn't even... And even biting his cl classmates. Well, uh, biting is obviously not the worst thing he did if he stabbed someone. Um, 
went to the police station this morning to press charges against your child. We suggest you go to a specialist for help since Luca is out of control. There's something wrong with the boy and he's not the Luca we once knew. Westlake Secondary School. I feel like this would be written differently if it actually came from the school. Oh, we can hang something here. Okay, good, good to know. Riveting. I mean, I love me a good coffee mug, but that is not it. That's a very boring coffee mug. Okay. Oh, I don't want to go. Is that a creepy mirror? Okay. <sighs> no matter how much I prepare for jump scares, they will still always get me. Okay, so this open, did this open? Yes. Oh, wow. It's really been a while that I had something with, wait. And grab, oh, okay. Oh. Okay, I can't, Ooh, okay. It's just like dad. Was or looked? Oh. Is that uh, Grams? I can't. Oh. oh God. Oh wait, oh, oh. In local news, the remaining belongings in the Hale family estate were finally auctioned, bringing in nearly three million dollars. Among the auction items were paintings by Picasso, as well as some gold and diamond jewelry. Ooh. Most noteworthy was Miss Hale's precious instant camera, which has finally found a new owner. It's been 30 years since the notorious multiple murders, and in spite of numerous auctions of the family assets, no one had previously purchased her camera. For viewers unfamiliar with the story, Madison Hill killed her own family during a witchcraft ceremony. She was then fatally shot in the stomach by a police officer who had caught her in the act. And now for the weather. <laughs> I don't know if that's the news you have before the weather. There's a certain order to news and I think this is not it. But yeah, for the sake of game. Like, I'm not, I'm not, this is not complaining, this is more like, uh... I still remember how much it hurt to wear that thing. What? Oh my god. D dear god. You had to wear this? It's horrible. Open, grab him. I don't know the password. Should I know this? What is this? My, my birthday present? But how did it get here? It's the camera? Wow, that looks... That looks like a Polaroid camera... Carved out of soap. <laughs> Press F to open the camera mode. Oh! And right mouse click to leave it again. Okay. Okay, I can't take a picture through that. It's closed, okay. Um. You can take a look at the photos you take any time in the inventory. Okay. And now, oh, why is it dark? No. Oh, fuck. Okay. 
Okay, so the clock is go. Okay. Oh. This is good. I really like it. Can't I? <clears throat> Oh, so nothing. Oh, okay. Shake, 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 senora, shake. <laughs> oh, that's nice. That's actually good quality for a Polaroid. I have a um, Instax, which is like a fake Polaroid, a new one. And usually the photos don't come out that well. No, that's it. Okay. Hmm. Oh no. Oh shit. Oh, I don't like this. Why? Do I have a l limited amount of photos? Huh. No, there's nothing there. Hmm. Oh, there's a news. Oh. Ooh. Oh, but now I can hang the picture. Okay, oh, cool. I think I need something else first. I think I need something. What? Maybe a nail? Maybe. Um. Oh my god, again? What is this? It's getting a little bit repetitive. You again. <laughs> oh, there we go. Just what I need. Well, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Creepy, creepy clock. What is it called? Grandfather clock, right? Yeah. Okay, so. Where's the nail? Shit. Did I drop it accidentally? Where's the nail? Oh, maybe I didn't take it? Oh, I didn't. Now, okay. Can I run? No, I can't. Oh! What? Was that grandpa? That looked like grandpa. I mean, not my grandpa. <laughs> that looked like some grandpa. <laughs> okay, but now I can... Ah, uh, ha! Yeah, that's how you do it, folks. That's... That's how you... Three D. Whoa. Okay. Sorry. View the photo. It's a lot of eyes. It's a lot of eyes. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. Uh. Oh, that's the demo. Okay. Yeah, I'm excited. Oh, that was loud. Sorry. <laughs> um, I mean, first of all, this is from 2017, but it still feels pretty good from from gameplay, the looks and everything. Like it looks really good. It plays really well. I thought the writing was a little bit. It was good. It wasn't bad. Not at all. It was good, but a bit more polish to fit the visuals and the gameplay I think just a tiny bit just a just a little smidge of editing so it's more polished for example the newscaster text to have it more and also the school letter to make it more you know some more official more newscastery and more school administrative letter to a family 
Um, but that's just that's complaining on a very high level because all in all, I really liked it. I like that the jump scare we got was a good one. <laughs> I just a few minutes ago before I played this game, I played a game that had not, uh, you know, one of those jump scares where you see something in the distance and then it comes racing towards you and that's it. But this one I really like. This was cool because I kind of have a thing for seeing something but barely you know when your mind kind of adds to the features of what you're just seeing and i saw that it was already very detailed so it wasn't like someone just didn't let us see the whole thing because they didn't have a proper model <laughs> for it but uh, rather that it was to jot your imagination so i'm i'm so looking forward to this this looks gorgeous i will totally Put this on my wish list. Uh, I want to play this and I hope it comes out this year. Can't wait. Yeah. Thank you so much. This is a really cool little demo and uh, oh, I can't wait. This just. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> if you like this, um, you can like this video. You can comment. Do you have other games like this that you could recommend? Also, if you enjoyed this enough that you say I want more of it, then you can subscribe to my channel. Uh, I usually play a lot of indie, uh, short indie horror games or longer indie horror games. I played Moon Down, which I enjoyed so much. And I recommend this game to you either as a let's play or to discover it yourself. Because it's, it's, it's one of the best so far actually the best horror game i played in 2021 so it's very it comes highly recommended from me <laughs> which is not saying much but it's yeah believe me it's it's really amazing anyways and i'm currently playing control which i very seldomly but sometimes i play you know the the bigger ones the triple a games and um yeah I, I i love this i love control and um if you are kind of like yeah i like uh, adventure indie horror and other cool supernatural games and I want to see someone who is excited about it tries to be super funny <laughs> and talks all the time you know subscribe and I promise you I will not force you to do a ritual or force you to wear this weird head mask because you know wear what you want as long as you're comfortable I'm totally fine with it Oh, well, that's, just, that's just me, you know. So yeah, I hope you had a good time. I hope you have a wonderful day. And maybe see you soon. Bye-bye. This is my self-recorded outro song. So I don't get hit with copyright claims. If you subscribe, you subscribe to a lot of fun tutorials, reviews, and let's plays.